Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wikivision channel. My name is Owen and today I will be talking about how mRNA vaccines work and how it is related to COVID-19. This vaccine is special because it is different than the conventional vaccine where we are injected with a weakened or an inactive pathogen. The COVID-19 vaccine uses mRNA or messenger RNA to help prevent COVID-19. In one cell of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, there are these proteins called the spike protein, which is the part of the virus that gets into our individual cells. This is not a pathogen since it doesn't contain any viral RNA. Once we are injected with a small dose of these spike proteins, our body will naturally be building up an immune response in order to fight back. This starts where the mRNA is translated into proteins. Then, the antigen is identified by the cell and like the conventional vaccine, our body then starts to fight the infection with B and T cells. B cells are like the weapons manufacturers for the T cells, which are like the army. These cells create antibodies and help fight against the virus. When the fighting is over, we are left with plenty of memory of B and T cells which remember how to fight the infection. An important thing to note is that mRNA does not actually affect the DNA of our cells. The specific part of the SARS-CoV-2 virus that we are infected with, aka the spike proteins, have a very short lifespan and are not able to enter the nucleus, thus not being able to affect our DNA. Along with the original two shots of the COVID-19 vaccine, you may also need booster shots to help and add yet another layer to our body's defenses and provide an increased immune response that may fade over time. With regards to other variants and effectiveness of them, the COVID-19 vaccine is only a little less effective on these variants. The bottom line of this is that the vaccine is safe and will not harm you outside of minor side effects. However, if you are allergic to an ingredient in the vaccine, obviously don't take it. This video is meant to be for educational purposes only and you should consult your doctor before taking the vaccine. If you have any questions about it, you should ask your doctor or leave it down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.